VVT Innovations Incorporated is a privately owned high technology company located in Canada's technology triangle. We are a startup company recently spun out of the University of Waterloo and we have developed virtual button technology, the ability to locate an impulse input on any surface of any device. This includes uh, corners, edges, curved surfaces, globe shaped surfaces, uh, any irregular surface. Virtual Button Technology combines MEMS microelectromechanical systems based hardware with vibration analysis and pattern recognition algorithms to determine the characteristics such as intensity and location of input anywhere on the existing surfaces of a device. Virtual Button Technology is a third dimension of user interface technology. The first dimension includes mechanical buttons. We've got one button uh, one active location, one functionality. The second dimension includes uh, touch screens. You've got an, an active overlay, a flat two-dimensional surface. The third dimension is virtual button technology. Virtual buttons can be placed on any existing surface of any form factor. Uh, they're virtual because they don't require an active component at the location of the input. Uh, this allows design freedom for user interface designers. They can conform the, the virtual button technology to the ergonomic design, the existing ergonomic design, instead of having to constrain the design through the limitations of the technology. The hardware advantages of virtual button technology include the size of the MEMS microelectromechanical systems based hardware. The, the sensors can be on the order of a few millimeters by a few millimeters in a very small footprint on the printed circuit board. There's also some flexibility in the location of those sensors, giving design freedom to the, the printed circuit board designer. Virtual buttons also uh, have a very low power consumption associated with those motion sensors. They, it's on the order of a few microamps for standby mode and one or two milliamps for active mode. The cost of the sensing hardware for virtual buttons is also quite low. It's to enable, say, a smartphone, it would be on the order of a few dollars.